Welcome to part two of our grizzly bear photography trip. In part one, we traveled by boat 250 miles across two days up the coast of British Columbia to a very remote cove where there is a high concentration of grizzly bears. And this is what happened next. This video is sponsored by photographyacademy.com. We explore, create, and inspire. If you are watching this video on YouTube and you want to explore, create, and inspire, and if you love adventure, then please click the subscribe button right now. We are all alone in an estuary where a river meets the ocean. On our first day, we saw three bears, but they were too far away for photography. Welcome to day two. Wow, what a difference one night can make. It was so incredibly windy last night. Like it just felt like a gale, even though it wasn't. It was probably 30 knot winds, but really not pleasant to anchor in. But now today is a new day, uh, even though it is supposed to rain today. I love the fact that the water is calm and uh, we'll get rolling pretty soon and see if we can find some bears. Okay, we've got a crab trap, a piece of salmon as crab bait. And we're gonna drop this trap in about 50 feet of water, if I can get on the boat safely. The way that a crab trap works is simple. You put some bait inside the trap and then drop the trap down to the bottom of the ocean. In this case, I was at a depth of 50 feet, which I've found to be the sweet spot for depths too deep and there won't be any crabs, too shallow and there won't be any crabs. So you drop the trap over the side and it sits on the bottom of the ocean. There's a rope that goes up to the surface and a float so that you will know where your trap is and you can recover it. And then the idea is to come back later on in the day and check it. So with the trap set and sitting safely at the bottom of the ocean, we were now ready to start looking for grizzly bears to photograph. Here's the method that we're using. We will motor until we find an area that kind of has a beach, anywhere where it's likely that a bear would be foraging for food and flipping over rocks. And we use the binoculars pretty extensively to scour the beach and the bears blend in so well. They're perfectly camouflaged with the same color as the rocks that has the kelp and barnacles on them. So then if we don't see anything, we just motor on to the next beach and look again and look again. So it's definitely a time consuming process, but the weather is beautiful and this is actually really fun. It's the most gorgeous place. Really, really jaw dropping. So here's the photography setup. I've got a Nikon D850, and this is a 200 to 400 millimeter lens. And I've also got a two times teleconverter, but honestly, I've never been happy with the shots that I get from this two times teleconverter. A 1.4 would be much better because I think we're just asking the lens to do too much by putting a two times on it. Uh, the 400 millimeters is good for 75 meters away, maybe but not great for anything really further away from that. You just can't get tight enough. I've also got a monopod and the bottom of the monopod is just sitting on the floor of the boat. And that's really essential because this thing is super heavy. And if you're hand holding completely, um, you're, you're out, you're, the long arm just gets fatigued too fast, but it's working out really well. But the limitation is you've got to be close, 50 meters, 75 meters, something like that. And then you get a good shot. Using binoculars, we finally spotted the first bear of the day. The bear was on the shore, which was great because that meant we would be able to get close enough to get some good shots.
After such a monumental effort to get to this place, it felt incredible to be this close to a grizzly bear. Grizzlies are apex predators. They are at the top of the food chain. Their claws are four inches long. And even though it was incredible to be this close, it was also a little bit scary. The bear eventually swam away and we let it go and it was time to head back to the boat and check on the crab trap. Do we have crabs? That's the big question. Okay. It's deep. It's heavy. And we have a crab. <laughs> we have one crab. That's so cute. Hello, crab. Welcome to the family. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. That's sweet. The secret to finding bears in the estuary is to wait for low tide. When the tide goes out, it exposes mussels and barnacles on the rocks on the shoreline and the bears will come out onto the rocky beach to eat those barnacles and mussels. The next low tide would be later in the evening just before it got dark and our plan was to get out there and find some bears during that low tide. It's raining. This is the end of our first full day at the estuary and the downpour started. It's just pouring rain and really strong gusts of wind. Really no fun at all at the moment. We canceled our grizzly bear tour tonight to try and find them in the small boat. There's just no way we could go out with the winds being so strong and it's quite uncomfortable. However, we are warm and cozy inside the cabin on the boat. We cooked dinner and played some sort of board games and now it's bedtime. So tomorrow's a new day and we're hoping for clear skies. We just woke up. It was pouring rain last night. Absolutely miserable and so windy. And when you are in a boat that's floating, um, you really don't want wind. So we woke up this morning and I've been using the binoculars just to glass all the shoreline. And I just spotted two grizzly bears way ahead of the boat down there. And now we need to jump into the inflatable, which is like a quarter filled with water because of all the rain that we had and get our butts over there as fast as we can to see if we can get these two grizzlies. If you are watching this video on YouTube and you want to explore, create, and inspire, and if you love adventure, then please click the subscribe button right now. Oh, it's so wet. Oh, it's so wet, so wet, so wet, so wet. Yuck. The bear are way up there. I see them. This is day three at the estuary. It's our final day for photography and we're so excited to see that there is a mother grizzly bear with two cubs on the beach pretty close to our boat.
They say that nothing good comes without some kind of a struggle, and this was certainly the case for us with this trip. Seeing these amazing, powerful grizzly bears up close and right in front of us made the effort and the work to get here so worthwhile. So awesome. The motto of Photography Academy is explore, create, and inspire. And we certainly explored to get here. And we created our own art once we arrived through photography. And I hope that by you seeing these pictures, it will inspire you to get out to an area close to where you live and go get your own photos of something that is special to you. So this was day three of our trip. We were leaving the estuary on this day and we wanted to take the long way home and enjoy everything that the ocean has to offer with some salmon fishing and whale watching and more photography. Today is day 10 of this trip and because the winds were pretty low today we decided it was time to make the big long blast to go home. So now the goal is to get home and down upload my photos to the computer and then I will start to use my four step system for the post processing of these bear photos. Now you can use this same four step system as well to transform your photography. It's not a photography course, it's a framework. It's a system that you can use and it will change the way that you take your pictures for the rest of your life. Thousands of photographers have already started to use this same framework that is my four step system and you can use it too. You can find out more about it by taking my free web class. Just click the link below. There's a free web class where I will show you how you can use the four step system to transform your photography practically overnight. So until then, I'll see you in my next video wherever that adventure takes us. Bring him to me, bring him to me. Yeah! Beautiful salmon. Got him. <laughs> Big moment in time, nice finally. Fish. So what'd you get? I got a Chinook. Hey, we're so happy. <laughs>